guys, it's Zen. How are you? Just coming in on a Friday to say hello to everybody from the park and the lake. And I'm going to flip around and let you see the uh, water. There's some people with, look at all those ducks. Can you believe that? And it's just, this, it, the lake curves around and it's really beautiful. So I figured I'd just come in and say hi, everybody. And um, from Southern California, it's 81 today. I'm sorry if you're cold, but it's beautiful here. And I wanted to give you my weekly weigh-in. Um, I do them all different days of the week, so because but I weigh myself every day. Um, right now, I was at 177.4, which is really not really a much of a change from the last time I weighed. I think the lowest I've seen in the past week was 176. So it just changes depending on what I'm eating and how much sodium. Sodium seems to excuse me affect my um, loss dramatically, and I don't use salt much now hardly ever I do sometimes in cooking but I don't on a day-to-day -day basis and if I do I measure it into my hand first just so I can see like two grains or whatever and then I put it on there so I'm also a big fan of the Montreal steak and Montreal chicken but they do have some sodium in there and one of them's at 25 percent of sodium reduced so I kind of been using that one on my chicken and stuff when I cook and sometimes on my fish too and I've just been eating um, the same plan I always do, so I haven't been straying off. Um, I had a birthday the other night, and I went to uh, a restaurant, and I had like a few bites of tortilla soup. Before I went, I ate a um, like a wasa bread with peanut butter on it, so I was really pretty full before I got there. I have to admit, I had about five chips and uh, some bean dip, and then I had like three bites of soup and took the rest home. So I didn't have any... Um, other stuff and as far as the cake goes I think I had like a half a teaspoon of cake to taste it and that was it and then I had coffee so I could have got crazy but I didn't so I was really happy about that um, keeping everything in line oh look here's a white bird hold on okay back to the back to the video so yeah that was fun and uh, let's see oh my NSV for the week is today and I've already shared this with um, a dear friend of mine that I was able to fit into some pants that had fallen off of one of my racks they were size 10 and I happened to try them on this morning and I ended up getting really distracted once I did because I actually could fit them and so they were a pair of size 10 Tahari jeans and they are rocking now the only thing about them they do fit they zip up everything I could have worn them to work, but I decided that since I have like a small muffin top with them on, I wasn't having that. So I figured that I didn't want any body armor on today because it's um, 81 and it's hot. So I figured I'd just like let it rip and just wear um, a different pair of jeans. But I'll be able to wear those out soon, so I'll be rocking them. They are really sharp. And I got them at the thrift store. So you guys out there who are changing sizes, don't worry about it. Just go and find some. They have some great stuff at the thrift store. You just have to look. They have all sizes, shapes. You don't have to worry about spending a fortune. And you can get what you like. So I do find all kind of great designer clothes there. And I'll just keep moving from size to size. So what do I care, you know? So that was really exciting for me. Um, I wanted to say I have not been in a size 10 fully since like 1998, which is um, a long time ago, guys. <laughs> a long time ago. Um, it's definitely not my stopping point. I have a long way to go. And kind of the question is for me is, you know, how much is enough? And I know I've asked it before and I've heard other people ask the question. And you know what? I have like fixed in my brain about the fact when I was younger that I never felt satisfied. And no matter how small I was, I never felt that it was enough. So I'm going to be having to deal with that. I know, again, because even though I look in the mirror, I'm like, mm, I don't feel like I look like that. I don't feel like I look like a size 10. I don't, you know what I mean? It's kind of like a mental block. So I guess I'm just going to have to work through that. And if I need therapy, then so be it. But in the meantime, I'm going to keep working on it. And, you know, because I can't really say whether it will be a 6, will it be an 8, will it be a 4, will it be a 2? I mean, whatever looks good is what I'm going to decide. Whatever I feel good at, whatever I feel healthy at, and what I do not want to be some stick person, you know, that looks really too far gone, if you know what I mean. 
that's just me. Everybody has their own preference. Everybody stops where they want to, and I totally get that and respect that. I mean, if you know your goal is a different size than mine, you know, I, it's great. Whatever it works for you, because we all come from different places. We all have different stuff in our mind. We all feel good at different places, weights. Um, I'm unfortunately for me, I have a very small build, so I'm not able to carry weight like some other people, maybe, who are even my same height. Um, I'm five feet five. I actually got measured at the spine surgeon for my daughter um, like a couple weeks ago. So I was really ecstatic about that because I had always thought I was five four and a half. So that half an inch, you know, I've been begging for height, came to me. So just goes to show you what positive, <laughs> positive vibes will do. But anyway, yep, I'm still thinking about all those things. Those things are jumbling around in my mind, and I'm not there yet, of course. But I mean, I just think that we all have to kind of give it some thought from time to time as to and when we do come to these different steps along the way, as to what will the next step be. Um, well, you know, the other thing this shows, guys, is that this is inches lost. This is not pounds lost, really, from, from the last month. This is totally inches lost, and this is thanks to my workout routine and things that are working for me. And I know everybody has a different one, and I really applaud you all for your challenges and stuff, because every day is a challenge for me. Because sometimes I just feel like laying down when I go home, like I said before. And uh, my friend even caught me laying down yesterday and said, oh, you know, he didn't say anything, but I'm thinking, hmm, I better get my butt up and get my butt to the workout, you know, and do what I got to do. So that's what I did. Uh, and I felt better. And, of course, I get totally energized, and then I can't slow down but yeah it's all good and I think that that is one of the best reasons to work out is because the feeling is so amazing and I know all of you guys that do do that um, feel the same way and I hope that everybody who's starting to think about getting motivated picks something to start with and then if you don't like that you move on but you kind of have to do something for uh, you know a few weeks give it a chance you know because at first everything is kind of hard and everything is a struggle but as you do it over time it becomes like ingrained and then you become uh, I want to say robotic but it's it's really not robotic it's just that you enjoy it and you're not really thinking about how much you're hating it you know so anyway guys have a great weekend I hope you all enjoy and stay out of trouble <laughs> all right now love you all bye